I was named head football coach of Notre Dame 1986 and went to the library and got all the books on the history of Notre Dame, wanted to know everything about it. And I noticed a picture in there of the entranceway to the stadium and it had play like a champion today. Play like a champion today is about to take on additional meaning. Legendary musician Todd Rundgren and his Spirit of Harmony Foundation are coming to the University of Notre Dame and South Bend this fall. Hello, 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 it's me. Over his 50-year career as a songwriter and technology innovator, Rundgren has produced a catalog of memorable songs. He's now at the leading edge of an impactful charitable endeavor. His Spirit of Harmony Foundation advocates in support of the moral imperative of music education. It will touch down at Notre Dame on September 22nd. The organization's work on behalf of music education for children will be the subject of first time fans. Thank All right, you. have fun today. An ND documentary series that brings attention to social issues that Notre Dame's global community can impact with a call to action. A number of issue-related events and initiatives are being planned, including Rundgren recording a duet with student body president Corey Robinson. And the foundation will team up with Hungry for Music, which restores used instruments and distributes them to young people in need. The goals of Hungry for Music is basically to put an instrument in the hands of a kid that has the opportunity to play music but doesn't have an instrument. We get instruments donated to us and then we redistribute them out to, to kids that need them. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without a community of people. Fans attending the September 24th football game between the Fighting Irish and Duke University are asked to bring instruments to donate. They'll be collected at a variety of locations on and off campus. Also in the playbook for Rundgren's visit to Notre Dame is to launch a music education program for the children at the South Bend Center for the Homeless. Currently the center doesn't have a steady music program at all. So bringing something in here that is stable, focused, and balanced on the kids would be such a great asset. Something that they can count on and know that is in their lives would be a, a critical need for us. The goal is to have music be a part of their daily lives by providing lessons, as well as an instrument that will be their very own. A lot of the kids that come in here, they come in with nothing except maybe the clothes on their backs. But not just the music instrument itself, but the music that they can take with them outside of here is what is a true possession that they can have, that they can take with them for the rest of their lives. For the week that follows, Rundgren will become Professor Todd as an artist in residence, interacting with students in a variety of classes, including an interdisciplinary elective course developed by the artist himself. The 11-day visit will culminate with an October 1st concert at which Rundgren will be performing with several student music groups at the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center.